Right, the next sort of thing that we often need to do is to include computer code or computer code fragments into a document. And that's generally done by one of the verbatim environments. So let's have a look at that. Right. Um, as always in environment, begin verbatim, end verbatim, and the code that you want reproduced goes in between. And the, the thing that verbatim does is that all characters and live blanks, breaks, and blank characters are reproduced in a fixed width font that you want for computer code. Um, now, the document didn't have any computer code in it, but what I've put at the end is, as we've just discussed, a table. And then what I want to include in the document is the LaTeX commands that typeset that table. So here I've got begin verbatim, end verbatim, and in the middle I've got a bunch of commands which normally LaTeX would interpret, but now it won't, it won't touch. It'll just reproduce it as is because it's in the verbatim environment. Click, and there it is. Um, it introduces a line break. Um, but you can see that it's a fixed width font, so the horizontal spacing is there, all the blanks are there, the line breaks are there. That's the sort of thing you need for computer code to be typeset. Okay, so that's the simplest way to do it. However, many people have made much more powerful code listing environments. In fact, this embarrassment of choices here, so it's easy to get lost, and you can have lots of arguments about what's best. I'll I would only recommend one or two of these packages. Um, they empower you to automatically include the code in your document Use whichever one suits you in the end. They all do a good job, pretty much. Um, and they all have sort of extra bells and whistles to make it look good. So the one I'm going to describe here is the fancy verb package, which you invoke by putting uh, a use package fancy verb into your preamble. Then, Typically, what you want is to typeset a computer code that exists in a separate file. Okay, You don't want to um, have computer code which you paste into your document and then typeset it, because then you, it's very hard to keep track of whether the computer code in your document is the actual real computer code that's on, that you're actually using later, because sure of eggs is eggs, you're going to modify that computer code later. The way to make sure you typeset what is actually in your computer file is to input that file. And fancy verb empowers you to do that. You just say backslash verbatim input um, and then embraces the file name that you want to be typeset. There is an optional argument inside these brackets which says typeset numbers on the left. You don't have to do that, but it looks nice. Um, another package you might find recommended is Minted. People say, oh, it does beautiful jobs, etc., etc." It's true, it does. I find it too slow. So its beautifulness does not justify how slow it is for me. Okay, now, uh, this verbatim input is basic. Um, uh, included in a LaTeX document. The other issue is, what about your computer code itself? We want documentation within a computer code, comments about how, what, the computer code is doing, how it's doing it, and all that sort of stuff. 
So we can use LaTeX to do that. Right, this is an issue of reproducible research, I should emphasize, namely that computer code needs to be properly documented itself. So the question is how can we incorporate beautiful documentation into a code, into the code, uh, including for mathematics purposes, mathematics, sectioning, so on. Well, to do it beautifully, for typesetting beautifully, we need to do it in LaTeX. It's obvious, what else would we do? Um, and we can do that. So I'll show you the example of MATLAB. For other languages, there are cognate ways of doing it. So in MATLAB, we can insert LaTeX code within a MATLAB block comment environment, which means that we can have the one file which has got both typesetting commands in LaTeX and MATLAB commands to be executed. And uh, this shows how to do it in full. So you can separate it into two separate files. This is often needed. So yeah, okay, let's do this. So this is a simple example. Say link. So here is a master document that use, uses package fancy verb and then sets up a MATLAB environment which will use the verbatim command um, to type set code. Numbers left, etc. I'll explain the new environment command at some other stage. Got title and author. I should say this is an idea developed originally by Neil Lawrence. And then the document here might be as simple as making the title and then inputting the computer code. And the computer code is here. Okay, so this, you could view this in two ways. One is a MATLAB file and the other is a LaTeX file. And both are correct. So as a MATLAB file, we've got some comments and then we've got a begin block comment. And then all of this is a comment as far as MATLAB is concerned. Yeah. Then you get some MATLAB commands. Then as far as MATLAB command, all of that is a comment. Looks like LaTeX and it is LaTeX, but to MATLAB, it's just a comment. Then there's a MATLAB command. Then MATLAB thinks in between there and there is comment. And so here is some MATLAB commands. And then to MATLAB, everything else is a comment. Conversely, when we typeset it, using this document simple.txt. Let's see that being typeset. And run it again. There we go. We get an example like this. And note this is a two column format. Okay, so we get a document, uh, we get a nice title, author, date, we get a nice section header. We get a description with some maths. Then we get the MATLAB code, some more nicely typeset description, more MATLAB, typeset description, more MATLAB, and we get the graphical output. And this view of the document comes because exactly the same file, where is it gone? Exactly the same file, there it is can be viewed as a LaTeX document. Now in LaTeX document, that's comments. So what LaTeX sees is that all those LaTeX commands. And in particular, it comes to this environment, begin MATLAB, end MATLAB. 
and let's put that down a bit so we can go up to here. What does that environment do? That's an environment that we've defined to be a verbatim environment. Right? So that empowers this new environment empowers us to say begin MATLAB, end MATLAB, and to do stuff with what's in between. And what gets done is verbatim. So in between begin MATLAB, end MATLAB, that code, that MATLAB code, is reproduced verbatim, as you can see over here with line numbers. Okay, so then uh, LaTeX continues on, typeset, oh, another begin MATLAB, in MATLAB pair, it sees that and says, okay, typeset everything in between using verbatim, and there it is down there. Then LaTeX continues on, typeset this paragraph, uh, cross-reference to a figure, that, we'll, and we'll talk about cross-referencing um, in the next big group of videos. Then it comes across begin MATLAB, so it says, okay, typeset all that stuff until the next end MATLAB verbatim wise. And there it is down here. All right, and after that it continues, after the end MATLAB, it just does more typesetting uh, by typesetting the figure, and we'll get onto that in the future as well. So you can see this is one way to interleave documentation and computer code and get it beautifully typeset. All right, and in general, this is the sort of format that we've used. Other techniques work for other languages. So R uses NITR. So look out for it because it's an excellent way to document code. 